Wine and chocolate. Smooth. Seductive. A match made in heaven, right? Actually, no. Most red wine doesn't pair well with chocolate because the tannins in both the chocolate and the red wine amplify bitter flavors. Fortunately, there are great wine and chocolate pairings out there, and I'm gonna show you what works from milk to dark chocolate. You're gonna be surprised with the chocolate that works best. It's not what you think. Hey, what's up? It's Madeline from Wine Folly. Wanna learn more about wine? Check out the free wine learning newsletter at winefolly.com. Milk chocolate. A good milk chocolate is about half chocolate and half heavy cream. That extra fat makes it easier to pair with wine. In this case, the intensity of the cocoa makes red wine the best match. However, if we pick a dry red wine, it's gonna amplify those bitter flavors. So, we need to pick a sweet red wine. Two red wines that work excellently with milk chocolate are Lambrusco and Brachetto from Italy. Lambrusco adds fresh berry notes with a touch of creamy bubbles. Look for wines labeled Amabili for the right amount of sweetness. Brachetto adds raspberry and rose petal flavors. Chocolate mousse and Brachetto is absolutely fabulous. Now, there are more producers than the ones that I've just shown. This is just to get you started. How do you make great wine pairings? Start thinking about your wine as an ingredient. Take a bite of the food and immediately sip the wine and they should create a new flavor on your palate together. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has a minimum of 35% cocoa solids. If you're a dark chocolate lover, you're probably at 70% or more. For this pairing, we need the highest intensity sweet wines to match up with that high cocoa content. Two wines worth exploring for this are Port and Vin Santo. Port is a sweet fortified red wine from Northern Portugal. Expect this pairing to add spice to berry flavors with a hint of cinnamon. Vin Santo is made mostly in Tuscany. It's slow fermented sweet wine with dried fruit, nut, and caramel flavors white chocolate. I know what you're thinking. White chocolate isn't technically a chocolate as it contains 0% cocoa solids, and you would be right. But <laughs> if you're dead set on pairing chocolate with dry red wine, this is your option. The cocoa butter smooths out acidity and tannins in red wines and reveals these crazy rich fruit flavors. I would recommend a lighter red wine like Pinot Noir to bring out creamy red cherry and raspberry notes. Another great pairing might be a white wine like Sauvignon Blanc for a creamy passion fruit explosion in your mouth. <laughs> if you're looking for more pairings, check out this full article. We've got tons more well worth exploring. And if you've been wanting to learn more about wine but don't know where to get started, subscribe at winefolly.com. You'll get a special one-time offer when you sign up. I hope this helps you drink better wine. And until next time, happy tasting.